Hey, what's up? So honestly, right now I feel a little disappointed. Even though I made a profitable trade, which I lost a dollar on overall, but just one dollar, one dollar out of my whole account on a profitable trade on a high price stock that was scary, you know, um, I still, I still feel disappointed. So let's review it and see what I could have done better. So these were the top percent gainers. Everybody's got a big float. Um, but you know, I think like in the chat room, Lento pointed out RWLK, um, which had a beautiful, beautiful move from right here in the 540s. And I marked it too. But you know why? I was like, nah, I don't want to trade this. This wasn't my idea. It's not a top percent gainer. I don't want to follow any ideas of other people. I wouldn't have even been looking at this. So I don't know what you can call that. Pride? <laughs> I don't know. Um, stubbornness? I don't know. But pretty much if we look at the daily... Um, I think what this is, is like, hold on, this was the play of the day, so I think it had the big move on the 5th, right, then the 6th was down, and now today is the 7th, and it's the bounce play, so this is a penny stocking framework play, um, which I should have realized, and it's like you saw that line right there, you know, so, and it's getting stuffy right here in the 690s area because you can see right here too. So, <coughs> um, so I was looking at this, but I decided no play. So this is a low float. Do you see how it's a low float that's rotated twice and it was able to move a dollar a share? pretty much over a dollar and quickly too, quickly, like from the 10, 10 to 10, half an hour. I was looking at LJPC because yesterday it had a big move. Hold on. Let me try to zoom out of this thing. Um, it's consolidating now. Internally, I'm like beating myself up. Um, how do I zoom out? Let's just look at the five day. So it had this really big move from the sixes, consolidated, um, had a pre-market jump and I was waiting for the dip, my little scuba diver play. Um, and you see this big candle. I thought that that was going to be the bottom right there in the tens. Um, you see where it touches? So I was waiting for an entry around here because I was like, I can't even buy 100 shares of this. So that was another mistake that I made. Oh, my God. What am I doing with all these arrows? Undo. Mm, undo. Need too many arrows. Undo. Ah, whatever. These arrows don't make any sense. I'm just going to go back to my cursor. So, you know, um, I saw that it triple bottomed here. First, this candle on the one minute chart scared me out because I was like, oh, this is an indicator that it's going to dip below this level. But it never did, and it actually triple bottomed. It made a higher low right there. Hold on, let me go over there. So it touched back down on this level there, higher low, right? So technically, I could have entered here, 11.09, risking off of the 1080s, let's say 30 cents a share, because it moved beautifully to the 11.60 area, 11.80s, 11.90s. Um, somewhere in here, right? 11, no, 1185. Um, and it hit its head right back on this 1190 area again. But I, I, I wanted to chase in here. Believe it or not, I wanted to chase in here. And I said, don't chase. Like, you missed your entry, don't chase. Um, so then I waited for the dip. I was waiting. 
And I saw over here kind of bottomed again at this level where this touches. So I was like, okay, I'll take a chance. And this was 11.33. So I got in um, and I pretty much just waited. This actually scared me out several times. I set my risk first at, um, uh, what was it? It was like 11.19 because I saw that this was the bottom. Then I checked on the five minute chart because it it was like 11.18. By the time I put my order in, it was already gone. So I was like, let me give it a second. Oh, gosh darn it. I could have had freaking 40 cents a share. <laughs> um, at least I was right. I would have wanted... I was planning to exit on 11, 11.90 after I saw... But what, whatever, whatever. Oh, my God, my profit. <laughs> So then I moved my wrist down and I announced it in the chat room. I was like moving my wrist down to like 11, 11 or so, 11, 13. Then I saw that it, oh yeah, it was like 11, 11, 18. Then I moved it here, I think to 11, I think I saw 11, 06 was my final. This is my risk um, because I've been scared out before and I need to like do a quick double check, but literally like as soon as it passed, I went to put my order in, and then it was just gone. And I was like, all right, you know, I guess I'm still in here. Um, so so I guess that's the benefit of me not putting in, like, a stop loss, because if I would have put it in, I could have got, like, shaken out, but it's still actually going. Um, oh, I left 20 cents a share on the table. I mean, what would I have made? Like, a dollar? Two dollars? It's like a joke. Um, because this is so high priced and because I can't afford shares of it. Anywho, so what else? Yeah, everything is too high of a float for me aside for RWLK. And I guess this is a good lesson to just keep watching previous low floats and runners. But I don't know if I'll do that because I do like my per top percent gainers. This I don't like. It's just hanging out there. Um, the float is like 59 million, so that's no. Um, ETLK was on the watch. Um, the watch list that Tim gives, I'm not interested in this one. Low flow. I don't know what this triangle was over there. Um, FTD is a top percent gainer, biggest volume, but I just don't like it. I think there was like a move here for 10 cents, but I don't, I just don't do that 10 cents stuff. Um... Someone talked about SBOT. Um, no. This one came up for a second. Yeah, right here. SSFN has a low flow. Rotated a little bit, but it just like zoomed up from 9 to 15. Like for me, that's a no play. So I think the, tr and also CTRV got halted and is still halted. I don't know what's happening here, but it was a nice entry in the 60s, but any type of weird halt play like this is not good for me. But it has the lowest float. It doesn't make sense for it to be zero, but no float with a lot of rotation, so it's continuously halted. I don't know. The first thing that popped in my head was like, is this a chat room play? But it's actually up here, so I don't know. I'll watch it, but I think I need to like step away from the computer. Um... And no, I need to just go back to studying, you know, so somebody in the chat room um, told me because there was I had a question about what was it exactly? Um, I think it was about B. What did I just close? B. It was a D S. No, B. Whatever it was. It talked about acquisition news and I was like. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because it was like, this stock is being investigated by blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it sounds like a bad thing. And then so Mark was like, don't worry about, or, or acquisitions and buyouts are irrelevant. But I was confused. So I wanted some more information. And then this dude was like, um, was like, uh, what's it called? You should study more. <laughs> like, and I was like, dude, I am studying. I have a question. You know, so that that made me angry, and then I was, like, sitting here angry, and I was like, I'm just going to type, wah, 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 wah. I'm just going to, you know, and I just was like, just don't even answer. So, those, I'm talking about my emotions now of how I was feeling. Um, when I woke up today, I was like, oh, I'm tired, 
And then, um, what else? Uh, um, yeah, tired. Um, I, I had a feeling like, eh, nothing's going on. I guess RWLK now is a top percent gainer, so everybody's watching it. Um, you know, maybe I could have entered there. Whatever. This is like a whatever kind of day. Um... Yeah, like I really I really got married to LJPC and I was really expecting wonders and I missed my entry point because I hesitated. I have a problem with hesitating. That's that's my problem. I don't have a problem cutting cutting losses. I have a problem with hesitation. I have a problem sitting on the sideline and going like, "Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no." You know, and like I missed this beautiful move. And um yeah. So I'm going to continue to try to work on that. Another beautiful thing that happened was Atik, the big money man, in on Profitly, check him out. He was like, um, he was like, you know, it's better to get uh, low price stocks, you know, if you want to grow your small account. And I was like, I totally agree with you. <laughs> and I was like, a big dog is acknowledging me? That's a win. So, yeah. Um, because, you know, you feel like a small shrimp in this game. So, whatever. It was nice. Uh, what else? What else? What else? That's it. That's it. I shouldn't feel disappointed. That's the truth. So what? I lost a dollar uh, on a profitable trade because of commissions. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't, whatchamacallit, I didn't skirt. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Please. I would have been up a dollar a share. It could have been up 50 bucks. Oh my god. That's real time, people. God damn it. You know what's funny? Um, it never broke 11.29. Could have moved my risk up. Even if I would have went here, because I see that it's touching right here and right here, uh, eleven twenty-one could have been my risk. I would have been up a dollar a share. So at least my idea was correct. I need to stop hesitating, and I need to get in when I see a double bottom, triple bottom. This was like a quadruple bottom. It was like you know, but this thing did scare me out. Let's look at the five-minute chart. Um, yeah, I think it was that same, the same line. So this is a weird thing. Oh my God, I would have been up a dollar a share. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's see. It's going to test this, uh, this high at, uh, 1270. Ooh, ooh, I feel horrible. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Look at that little candle. It's resting right on top of that level. Feeling disappointed, could have made 50 bucks or 40 bucks, but I can't predict the future, but I was on the right path, but I chickened out, even though it doesn't make any sense why I would do that. Let me see what level I got out at. I got out at 1014. 1014. It was making a lower high. Could have had my risk at 11.23 cause it went up a dollar. Ah. It's so hard when you have three day trades. And no, I, I could open another account and have another, um, uh, whatchamacallit, another account for another three day trades, but I don't want to. I can't, no, it's not possible at this moment. And, um, so yeah, so I was correct if I would have got here at my double bottom, you know, I might've been shaken out here, but even if I got in here at 11, 11 dollar a share, 11 oh six dollar a share, this girl keeps saying dollar a share. Yeah. So that's all. I'm done with plays until Tuesday. So... Yeah, I need to snap out of it. Snap out of it, Liz. <laughs> snap out of it. 
All right, bye.